Hey team, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the content process that allows me to create over 25 pieces of original content every single week without working hours and hours and hours on it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be sharing with you the content process that I've developed over the last few years that finally allows me now to create upwards of 25 pieces of content every single week. I'm a massive believer in content marketing and creating content online. And I firmly believe that if you do not create content online, your business does not exist. Whether that is ads or whether that is organic content, it's all content at the end of the day. We're all creating a message and putting it out there into the world and if we're not doing that how can we expect people to be able to find us now i've been creating videos and blogs and podcasts now for five or six years but i feel like i've never gotten to a point where i'm super happy with the process that i have because it's always come down to quality versus quantity how can you create a lot of content but how can you create a lot of content that's still quality that's something that i've always struggled with up until around this year when i got really really focused on developing a really slick content machine and hiring staff that allow me to feed that machine and ensure that good high quality content is going out consistently and what i want to do today is share with you that exact process so i'm going to jump into my screen here and show you how we create content as a business and how we're able to get lots of content out there into the world which allows us to build our audience and ultimately get more members inside the funnel academy so share my screen now i've got a six step process that i'm going to talk to you today first one is all around planning the content i want you to create a content ideas bank this is what we use i use apple notes simply because when i'm on the on the road i can simply just type in an idea here on my phone and the idea of the content ideas bank is essentially to give you a place where you can just take a note of any content idea that comes to your head. Maybe you are running, maybe you are on LinkedIn, you're on YouTube and you come across something or you have an idea where you're like, I would love to create something on that. The content ideas bank, you just simply come into it and just type in content idea. Just type in your idea and save it and just get everything off your chest and onto paper. And what I want you to do when you're creating your content ideas bank for the first time, what I would say is there's always going to be an initial piece of work when it comes to a content strategy. If you don't have a content strategy already, what you're going to, when I say that, I mean, what content are you actually going to create? You're going to do an initial piece of work. And that initial piece of work is going to be you answering the questions. What problems are my customers facing? What are my customers searching for on Google? What are my competitors creating on social and on their website and on their YouTube channel? And what's working well for them? And what are my customers interested in? If you can answer those questions, the questions themselves become the titles of your content, you're gonna have a long, long list of content ideas. So stick it into a content ideas bank and then just constantly update this thing. Just constantly add content ideas to it. The next step in the content process is then setting aside time to ensure you can actually create the content itself. We're all busy. Every single one of us, every single person watching this, you are busy. I guarantee it. Next time somebody asks you how you are, I guarantee the answer is going to be, yeah, I'm pretty busy, which means creating content is difficult. It's hard. It takes time and it takes effort. And when you don't have a, a massive audience, you're putting all this time and effort into something that's probably not reaping you massive rewards. You're not getting thousands and thousands of views, I wouldn't imagine. And so what I've found is time is definitely the biggest objection to creating content. So what you need to do is be super strict and set time aside in your diary. If it's in maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks, two months time, I don't care. Set aside half a day and that half day is going to be for you to create content. That's all it's gonna be. You're gonna sit down in front of a camera and you are going to shoot some videos. Now, I like to do this every week. Every Tuesday, I set aside a couple of hours to create some content. That's where I sit down and I make my videos. And it means I never have to think about creating videos any other time because I know on a Tuesday morning, 
It's set aside in my diary. I have a calendar block there so nobody can book appointments with me Tuesday morning. That's when I film videos and I highly recommend you do the same as well. Step number three is then planning those videos in advance because what I have found is if you wait until that time block and you have no idea what you're going to create then you've not you've got no plans. What you're going to find is it's very difficult. Let me come back to my face for now because I'm not sharing anything. It's going to be very, very difficult for you to then create something. You're going to get stuck in paralysis because you're like, I don't know what I'm going to create. I've got no ideas what I'm going to create. And so what you need to do is plan your videos in advance. So I shoot a video every single Tuesday. I maybe shoot two or three different videos on a Tuesday if I feel like I've got the video creation bug, like if I've got the enthusiasm, but normally I'll just create one. And I always, because I only create one because I'm always two or three or even four weeks ahead on my content creation schedule. So this week will go out probably, this video that I'm filming right now will go out four weeks from the day I actually shot it. So what I like to do is on a Friday, I'll plan the con, I'll take, I'll go into my content ideas bank and I'll go, ah, let's create that. And I'll take that, I'll add it into my project management tool, which I'll show you in a second. And then on the Monday, I plan that video out before I film on the Tuesday. So yesterday, I film, I'm filming this right now on the Tuesday. Yesterday, I wrote out a kind of brief script and went over the points that I want to cover. So let me jump into my screen again and show you how this actually works. So we use Asana. And you can see here, I've got an Asana board uh, for called an editorial calendar, and it's got these different sections here. So we have ideas, we have production, we have blog, and then fully published. So my content creation process, I have two main things. I have my videos that go out every week, and I have my podcast that goes out every week as well. Now, all of my videos are turned into blogs as well, which I'll talk about in a second. But I don't do a huge amount of blog writing at the moment. So what I like to do is every single time I have an idea or I come into the content ideas bank and I go, right, I'm going to create this video on the Tuesday. Let's say I'm going to, I basically take it. I'll make it bold. So I know that I'm, that's what I'm creating. I'll then come into here. I've got some video templates set up within my Asana. This is one I created earlier. And what I'll do is I'll name that whatever the video is that I'm going to create. And then I'll take this over here into my ideas section. And when it's an idea, what I'll do is I'll set the date that I want to publish that video. So let's say we'll set it for 20, the 26th of November. Now inside all of these video templates, what I then have is some things that I need to do in order to get the video live. So for example, film the video. Now if I know the video is going out in the 26th of November, I'm going to want to record it sooner than that. So what I want to do is maybe say it's going out then. So let's film that video next week, let's say. So I'll set it in for the 12th of November, assign it to me. And that means on the 12th of November on my to-do list, it's going to come up and say, film the video for becoming a Facebook partner. Then we've got all the different tasks, which I'll cover in a second. Cause that brings us on to point number four. Once you have got your idea, you set some time aside and you've planned your video out in advance, it's time to film that video. Now, like I say, you want to set some time aside and what you really want to do when you have that time set out is when you arrive at that time for me the Tuesday morning is you are ready to rock and roll and what you want to do is just get the camera on and just start recording you're going to take some takes you're going to mess up your lines it's going to be awkward at first but once you start going you start going just imagine you're speaking to a person don't imagine you're speaking to a camera but it's important that you actually film that video otherwise you're not going to create the content are you then this is when it gets really exciting because I said at the beginning of this video, this is all around how to create 25 pieces of content per week. But all I've spoken about right now is a video. So how do we get from a video to 25 pieces of content? Well, this is what we do. So in Asana, where are we? Becoming a Facebook partner. In fact, let's scrap the idea. Let's use this one here, how I create X pieces of content per week. Cause this is the actual project of the video that I'm creating right now. It's kind of meta, right? So in here, we have our video creation process. Bec every single time you have a, um, a process in your business or something that happens repeatably, repeatably, that's the word, repeatably, you want to create a process around that. You want to create a system around that so you can literally come and tick these off. So you can see here, I've got my video creation process. So I'm currently filming this video. So I'm going to tick that 
off like that. The next thing that I need to do is upload to the drive. So once this video is done, I'm going to upload it to the drive. And then this is where it gets exciting. So you can see here, one of the tasks that we have is every single time I post a piece of content, we call this pillar content. This is our main, every single week, a 10 minute video goes out on YouTube. The podcast is also a pillar piece of content. And what we also have is we have pillar and then we have our micro. Now the micro is where this gets really, really exciting. And this is where you really get lots of content from the content that you're creating. So this video will probably be around 10 minutes and I will send that to my editor and get them to make it look all nice, cut out the rubbish bits, keep the good bits, edit it, make it nice and polished. But what I also ask my editors to do is take two or three parts from this video and turn them into videos on their own. So typically I'm asking them to create something funny. So if there's maybe bloopers or I say something stupid or whatever it may be, I'll get them to cut that out. I'll also then get them to maybe take two, one or two different parts which are valuable on their own. So let's say in this video, I'm talking about um, how to, how we create lots of video, but I'm currently, I'm talking about how to create micro content. So my, my editor might go, that's interesting. And they'll take the two minute segment out where I talk about micro content and that will then become a video on its own. So I'm currently sat here for 10 minutes creating a video, but we now have three pieces of video content from that. I will also ask my editor to give me that in square format, landscape format, and also portrait format, because that means we can then use that across all the different platforms. We can add it to TikTok if it's something funny, we can add it to Instagram stories, we can add it to Instagram TV, we can add it to Instagram itself. So all of a sudden we've doubled the number of videos that we have. Now, once the editor has created six, seven, eight pieces of content for me, I don't actually do anything with that content. It immediately gets sent to Natalie. Now, Natalie's job in the business is currently to publish all the content on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, to come up with some caption ideas for me, to do all the SEO work on my website and to generally just promote the content for me, which means I sit here and I create the content, but after that, my team able to edit it up and then promote the content for me. So I, yes, I sit down and I film a video, but after that, there's very little for me to do, which comes back down to the time thing. Now creating content takes a lot of time for people, but I think oftentimes people forget that they can hire people to edit their content. They can hire people to do these certain things for them. For me, I just love creating. I don't really enjoy the stuff around it. I love sitting in front of camera. I love writing. I love interviewing people on the podcast. So I don't want to sit and do all the stuff behind the scenes. Once you've got all those files back from the editor and it's sent to Natalie, Natalie will then promote that out to the world. Now, what I like to then do from that promotional content that goes out and all the micro pieces of content is break it down even further. So let's take the example of this. This video will go out how to create X pieces of content per week. That will go out. I will then have three or four different micro pieces of content that will also go out but we can then create micro content from those pieces of content as well so i might take the two minute segment that's all around micro content and i might then write about that and that can then go on linkedin that can then go on to instagram onto twitter as well so i can tweet about it i can put instagram stories about it i'm making the content go as far as possible and this process is also repeated for my podcast so we'll create the podcast We'll also create a video version of the podcast, audio version, obviously, of the podcast. My editor will then create micro pieces of content for the podcast. So we're talking like six pieces of content for the podcast, six pieces of content from the video. The videos are then turned into the blog. The podcast also has its own show notes. So we're talking 10 pieces of content. And then we publish it across all the different platforms. So those platforms, how many are there? Six. So you could probably say that's like 60 pieces of content that go out. And then we can take the micro content that goes out and make even more smaller micro content from that and repurpose it from video into text and audio into text. And immediately you just have this enormous content machine. Sometimes, some weeks I'm like, oh my God, I've got far too much content to actually share, which is a problem in itself. Let's jump back to my face. But that's the process that we're finally, I finally got nailed and we're using to publish lots and lots of content per week. Because before when it was me filming a video, 
then editing the video and then promoting the video. By the time I came to promote it, I was sick of it. And I didn't have any micro content because I didn't have an editor doing it. And I didn't have someone promoting it for me, which meant I was forgetting where to promote it. And I didn't have a nailed process, something that I can literally tick like a checklist off. So if you are struggling with creating content, follow this process, have a content ideas bank, set time aside, film that content, hire people to edit it for you, hire people to promote that content for you and try and figure out how you can make that content go as far as possible. Don't just create one thing and use that. Turn that one thing into five things, into 10 things and then promote that and then turn those 10 things into 20 things. And immediately you'll see that your audiences start to build, you'll spend less time, but you'll have much more impact. So it's one of those, it's one of those things where you can spend less time, but have a much bigger impact, which is what we all want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, please be sure to hit like, share it with someone that needs to see it, drop a comment if you have any questions. And if you would like a step-by-step -step course on how to build your audience online, how to research content ideas, how to find the content ideas that are gonna have the biggest impact, how to create your 12 month content strategy, how to promote your content properly, how to develop a system like this. In fact, I'll just give you this editorial calendar. If you want all of this, there's a course inside my Funnel Academy all on how to build a high engaged and powerful audience. So you can get instant access to the Academy. Just check the link below. It's myfunnelacademy.com. I'd love to see you inside. As always, I enjoyed creating this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next week.